UNC Charlotte is one of the few campuses in the United States that actually has an optics PhD program. We have a lot of faculty working across multiple departments to actually do research in optical science and technology. One of my research interests is optical invisibility and cloaking, which is a topic with a long history in both science and science fiction. It stretches back over a hundred years, though most of the important work has been done in the last 10 years or so. It's been very interesting that a lot of the research that's been done is now stranger than the actual science fiction that's been out there. Now the simplest theoretical cloak is an object that guides light around a central region, just like water is guided around a rock or a boulder in a stream. And this idea can be used to protect objects and not just hide them. For instance, people are talking about building cloaks that can protect buildings from earthquake waves. They're talking about building cloaks that can protect offshore platforms from water waves. Now, there's a lot of challenges to still be overcome in order to make such cloaks a reality, and I've been working on theoretical aspects of overcoming them. Now, we probably still have about some time before practical invisibility will happen. If someone has made a working invisibility cloak, I haven't seen it.